Because judo derives from the martial arts of the past, it must perpetuate the spirit of other martial arts. Loyalty, faith, honor, and various other virtues were emphasized in the martial arts of the past, but I keenly feel their importance even today. The deterioration of society's morals today is primarily the result of a failure to emphasize these virtues. So I believe that those who practice judo in particular must apply themselves to these matters and restore today's neglected public morals. He's got another little hang up. Well, it's yeah. not even a hang up. He's, but I, I mean, obviously, I'm pointing this out because we could clearly look at society today and be like, yeah, well, guess what? We, we're on a slippery slope. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell you feel strongly about that one, though, right there. Who, me or him? No, him. Oh, well, yeah. 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 That, what about me? Yeah. It just, yeah. The look on your face indicated that for sure. Yeah. But, you know, that's a whole other thing. It's, it's weird because you go around different pockets of the world in different pockets of the country and you see various various positions on the slippery slope some people hanging on yeah but some people are not and they're just slipping and we got to be careful yeah and you get and obviously that's a whole nother topic but the you know and you have uh, so many huge major major forces kind of working against it you know pushing us to down the slippery slope oh, like marketing sure. right you know how like marketing most marketing is to appeal to your most like immediate of yeah. wants your you know like base. this delicious uh double whatever you know and it's the girl that's showing the delicious burger is uh-huh. like yeah and guess what it doesn't even cost that much mm. Dang, you know, it's so the gratification for cheap. Yeah, man. So you can get With it. With little and it's sex like, thrown on top of that. Yeah, burger. just to make you feel good, you yeah. know, whatever, you know, and that's everything. So, you know, again, if you're not, what is it, conscious of your yeah. situation or whatever, you might. You know, I was thinking about this today. More. Is like, is like, I think people lose concentration. This because most people, in my opinion. Most people are like, yeah, they, they kind of know, you know, we, like we go back to the, the theory of right and wrong, what's right. I think most people are pretty good with it. Like most people feel pretty, like they know what's, ba- hey, like, no, that's wrong, right? Mm-hmm. And they know that, hey, you know what, that's a good thing to do, right? Mm-hmm. I think most people kind of, like broadly kind of kind of would agree with those things. Yeah. The problem is, and so that's why I think we don't emphasize as much because we think, you know what, hey man, most people pretty much agree with me. Like it's like the center people of the country right now like and the extreme right now the extreme left no okay where are you at it's like okay well those people that are in the middle it's like yeah we we kind of figure like okay pretty much and so what happens is once we don't talk about it as much well then the people that are on the fringes mentally they end up without a compass right Mm -hmm. they just don't even know what's right and what's wrong anymore because people aren't talking about as much because it doesn't seem like we need to Mm. i think we might need to yeah yeah, and why it's right. <laughs> then it comes down to your approach and like all this stuff. Because you know, when you have opposing views, it's like if you don't do it with the right approach, you just it becomes more about the fight more yeah, so than for like sure. the, you know the kind. So yeah, no, I think you're right about that. I think. Are, and are you talking about what people? Most people know right and wrong. Because there's a difference between like just like how, how you were saying, where people know right and wrong, but they don't always do what's right kind of thing. Totally. So is that what you're talking about? Like when most well, people know no, right and I'm wrong? Saying, I'm saying if you don't teach a kid, like, hey, when you see someone that needs help, you go help them, yeah. right? Like little old lady crossing the street, right? Right? That seems obvious. Little old lady crossing the street, she's got a grocery bag. You, you go, okay, hey, can I help you with that grocery bag and you know help yeah. you put it in your car? Maybe for you, you get a little pump while you're at it with that grocery yeah, yeah. bag. Hope she has a bunch. <laughs> yeah. So like that's that seems like a real common sense thing to do, mm-hmm. and that's like a, the most basic example I can think of off the top of my head. Like yeah. okay, so that that would be a good thing to train a, a kid to do. Yeah. Hey, if you see someone that needs some help, you give them some help. Yeah. Especially an elderly person that's having some trouble. That's what you do. Yeah. Seems real obvious. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, and and I think even I think most people. Most kids would be like, oh yeah, they'd see that and they would tend to go, okay, I'll help out. Mm-hmm. But because most people would tend to do that, we think we don't need to teach them. Gotcha. And that's where we're losing it. Yeah. Like, because the people on the fringes, they're not helping that person. There's someone on the fringe that's gonna like, oh, they dropped their bag and we we'll steal it from them, Yeah. right? So that's where we end up with a problem. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. And that's why it, these things probably need to come up as part of a conversation, as, as like a national or universal conversations to be had. Of yeah. Like, okay, what is right and wrong? Mm-hmm. Who's giving those guidances now? Yeah. Where are they coming from? People aren't people. People aren't reading the Bible anymore to look for their guidance. They're not following Buddhism to f- get their guidance from. Right? They're just they're just kind of going around. Yeah. So where is that coming from? Yeah, huh? that's true. They're going like going around. They're seeing like what? Okay, they're looking around me like okay, what are yeah. we doing? How are yeah. we doing this? Is this right? Is this wrong now? And to if, do this? And what are they looking at to get to measure to to establish that from? You know what they're looking at? Instagram. Yeah, uh, whatever's around them. Well, yeah, yeah, whatever's and, around. But Instagram's around them. YouTube's yeah. around them. Yeah, man. that's what's around them, and yeah. they're looking at it, going, oh, "Okay, well, this is, you know, that seems that's like what we're doing. That's huh? what we're doing. All right, cool. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's okay to sucker punch this, you know, this this old dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, and I feel a little uncomfortable about it, but you know what? It seems normal. Yeah, it people looked, are doing it. It's fun. Yeah, guys were laughing. It got a lot of views. Got a lot of views. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's what's sure. cool. Yeah, that's what we need to watch out for. Yeah, and obviously I know that's an extreme case, but really that that that's true. Where especially okay, in these extreme cases will happen. By the way, if you don't have any other presence of influence, for like, sure. You know how um like oh, I was I was kind of saying this. I thought it made sense. Where okay, your kids or whatever, they're gonna learn how to behave, whether they learn it from you. Or your neighbor or TV or the guy at the club or the guy at the park, whatever. That part is up to you. Like, if you don't want to be there, they're going to learn it from somebody else kind of thing. So that idea where, okay, what are we, you know, this is a society. Like, okay, what are we doing now? How are we doing this? What's right? What's wrong? Is this wrong now? Whatever. Then we're going to get that. Just like I said, like, we're looking around. We're, we're trying to see oh. what up, you know? And if there's no specific thing saying or court, not court necessarily a course, yeah. even though a course would be cool. Um if there's nothing present there to demonstrate it, then they're going to be like, all right, well, what is here to demonstrate yeah. it? And what I'm saying is we've gotten away from things that in the past would have guided us yeah. at least the, somewhat. Demonstrate it, yeah. And where you'd had this sort of, sort of fundamental universal understanding of like thou shalt not kill, right? Sure. Well, okay. That, that, that's a biblical thing. And well, you know, maybe when a kid is, 15 years old and he's feeling angry about something and he's thinking you know what I play a video game all day where I shoot like people in this video game and that makes me feel better well maybe it make me feel better to go out and do that in a school yeah right that's 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 what happens yeah so if we don't have if we don't lay out these things for people even though most people don't need them there's some people that need them. That's my point, is that we've gotten to a point where we think, you know what, pretty much everyone kind of gets it. Mm-hmm. And if everyone kind of gets it, I don't need to emphasize it that much. Yeah. And so I'm not going to emphasize it. Yeah. Well, there's some people that need it. Yeah, and even if you don't quote unquote need it, it's kind of like exercising, you know? Yeah. I'm in great shape. I don't got to exercise. Well, yet you kind of do, you know? Yeah. It's uh, interesting times. Yeah.